Hazard and Salah, and Ali and Vardy, Rashford De Bruyne in the Manchester derby, Pep Klopp Mourinho, Wayne Rooney's ping. These are a few of our favourite things. Guys, did you not get the memo voice. about the Santa Bars thing that we were going to do? You know, we were going to wrap it out. So Christmas show, me and my dons busting it up like Milton oh, Keynes. Oh yeah, no. yeah, that doesn't rhyme actually. But still, I'm sorry, man. We got caught up with this Christmas cheer in here. We can we can do your thing later, but um. But right now we should probably start the show, shouldn't we? You guys are unbelievable. You know what? You ruined that. You ruined that. That was that was a lovely moment. It's true, you did. Yes, welcome to a Christmas special of Studs Up. And as it's the festive season, we thought we'd play some games and look back at the best of 2017. Well, it's time we just dive straight in with the games. And the first one is Pass the Parcel, but with a football twist. Woo! Thank you, Rach. The idea is you hold this present as we pass it around the group. But if you're holding it, you've got to name something in the chosen category. And if you hesitate, you're out. Oh, there are going to be three rounds, and the last man or woman left standing wins. The first round is Premier League managers. Let's go. Jose Mourinho. Arsene Wenger. Klopp. Wagner. Paul Clement. Uh, Mark Keyes. How? How? Oh, Eddie Howe. Sean Dyke. Oh, oh, yes. oh wait, Marco wait, wait, wait. Silva. Uh, Benitez. Uh, Pep. Guardiola, it's already been done. Has it hey, she's in Pep. She's in Guardiola. So we have made a decision and Johnny is out of here. I panic, guys. Bye, bro. I panic. I'm going to represent you, though, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Pow. So what is this? Two girls and one guy left standing. OK, right. Second round, World Cup countries. Are you ready? Yep. OK, England. Brazil. Germany. Belgium. France. Panama. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel Stringer. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> All right, mate. Yeah. You need to rub it in. So, the third and final round. We've lost Johnny Nelson, we have lost Rachel Stringer. It is James Sherwood versus Leila and Ali. Are you ready for this, home girl? I'm always ready. Ladies first, let's go. It's uh, Premier League stadiums, by the way. <laughs> Pivotally. <laughs> Pivotally. Amex. Old Trafford. Turf Moor. Etihad. St Mary's. Oh! oh! Yes! bet three, six, five. There was so many to go on. <laughs> oh. Yeah, very convenient when you're not under pressure and out, know, Johnny probably. Nelson. Congratulations, Layla. <laughs> Round one. Yeah. All right, guys, I hold my hands up. I could not handle the pressure there. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. Let's move swiftly on. That neatly wrapped segment helps us seamlessly link into our next feature. It's powered by Opta and brought to you by Golden Shaw. It's the Pressure Index Review. <laughs> Now it's time to play a version of Studs Up, Heads Up. As you can see, we're all wearing a very festive hat. 
with a name on the top of it. None of us know the name, so we've now got to try and guess the name in as few questions as possible, and whoever does that wins. Loser Johnny gets to start first because he lost the first round. <laughs> you look amazing. I, I, think, I think that's fair. Amazing. I think that's fair. This is going to be difficult, but we're ready, yeah? Yep. Yeah, let's okay. do it. All right, guys, start with me. Uh, so does ask? my guy play in the Premier League? Yes. yes. Does my player play in the Premier League? Oh. No. Ah, okay. <laughs> just, that just makes it ten times yeah. harder, doesn't it? <laughs> Does my player play in the Premier League? Yes. yes. Does my player play for England? Is no, it no. England national team? No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, has my player won the Premier League? Yeah, no. 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 Um, does my player play in Europe? No. Oh, no. Oh, come on, kids. I need some help. No, it doesn't. No, 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 not anymore. Not, not anymore. Not anymore. Okay, not, not anymore. anymore. Is my player from Brazil? Yes. Yes. Ligue 1? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, I'm it down. Is my player English? Yes. Yes. Does my player <laughs> play in Brazil? No. 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 Brazilian in the Premier League. Does he wear blue? Sometimes. What do you mean sometimes? Well, we all yes. wear blue sometimes. Yes, he, he wears, wears blue. blue. Hawk the Herald. No. Oh, I hate all oh. of you. All of you have been <laughs> awful in this game. <laughs> I can't have oh, either winning two rounds. <laughs> Can I be oh, absolutely clear? Right, five clear seconds. Can I'm I be absolutely time you now. clear? Five. To Maria. Four. Uh. Angel <laughs> sing. La 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 la. <laughs> that was cheating. Tactical. Tactical. Thanks. I'm confident. I've got it. Gabriel Jesus. Yes! Obviously. Annie Carroll. Yes. Annie Carroll. <laughs> when did you get that? How did you figure now. that one out? Do you think Carol because singing? Carol. Carol singing. Why uh, fair? It's really obvious now. I'm not proud. But I give up. Blackburn. Roque Santa <laughs> Cruz. You said you... Santa. You said Santa. Oh, Roque Santa Cruz. That was Jeez. difficult to be fair. That, that is tough. Difficult. That is desperate. The fun and games continue with Premier League stars now after Rach headed down south to get the Saints in the festive spirit. Yeah, it's Christmas, so I've come down here to Southampton to spread some Christmas cheer amongst some of the Saints players. So let's go and see who I can find. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see. I've got two jokers here. Charlie and Jack, come out because it's Christmas. We're going to get in the Christmas spirit with... A game of charades. <laughs> okay, so they're all kind of Christmassy themed for the first round. Charlie, first person you've got to be is. I mean, props, are we allowed? Well, clearly we are. I think I've got it, but I just want to see that down a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> So currently, Charlie Austin has a cone uh, on his nose. Rudolph. The reindeer. The red nose reindeer. Yeah! Jack, your first one. It's easy, this one. <laughs> yeah. Snowman. Yeah. <laughs> Got it? Heard me? Oh, yeah, 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 right. Saints. Six. <laughs> Seven. It's getting there. Oh, you're out of order. <laughs> Who is it, Jack? Go on. Matt the test. <laughs> Sorry, Tiff. He's a legend. Jack, your, your next person is. Come this way. Saints. Yeah. Left foot. 20. Gabby Dini. Yes. Okay, yours is. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> What's he just done? He's just fallen over. No, but when someone dies. Strong. <laughs> you know. <laughs> What's this? Four words. <laughs> Die hard. Jack, you are moving round. 
first word. I've never played this game. <laughs> Come on. First word is a triangle. Don't touch me, mate. Cuddle. <laughs> <All right. laughs> no. You're never going to get this. I'm alone. I mean, I don't know how you did it, but you did do it. Charlie Austin, you are the winner of St. Charades. It's not just fun and games here as part of the Studs Up Christmas special. It's also been a very dramatic 2017. I'm sure you guys will agree. So let's talk highlights, people. Give me something. J-Dog, highlight of 2017. Highlight for me, the romantic return of Wayne Rooney to Everton. Yeah. He's not the player he was, but, you know, every time he gets a goal now, you can, like, crack out the highlight reel from 2002. His first goal against Stoke, his, his, uh, his goal against Arsenal, which was almost 15 years You get a little shiver when it goes yeah. in, even when you watch it. You don't, don't get you? a lot of romance in football anymore with the amount of money that in there, so it's kind of nice to see that happen. Layla? Take that and raise you by a Neymar led Barcelona comeback against Ooh, PSG. What a, what a moment. Yeah, before what he jumped game. ship and went to PSG. <laughs> eh? <laughs> but no, yeah, incredible. Uh, Sergio Roberto, last minute goal. It's a great, that's just a great example of what you can, the excitement you can get in the game now over 90 minutes, really. That was incredible to see. I'm going to bring the excitement back to our own country because I'm very patriotic. So I'm going to talk about England and Gareth Southgate really kind of trying to make a new, younger England side that I feel gives us a little bit of hope. OK, they didn't a perform spectacularly the other, the other couple of weeks, but they did get two draws against two world, former World Cup winning teams in the terms of Brazil and mm. Germany. So, you know what? I'm looking forward to the World Cup next year, guys. Stranger things have happened. Regardless of what <laughs> you're going to say off camera, but yeah. Surprise, surprise, optimistic England fan. Um, I'm going to go uh, kind of a bit more sentimental with my memory. Uh, 2017, Bradley Lowry. Uh, yeah. The young man, obviously, who got to live out the, the dream and his yeah. dreams in the final moments of his life and building up that friendship with Jermaine Defoe, getting mm. to walk out of the stadium and like, hanging out with the players. And I think it was a really beautiful moment and a good showcase for what football can also be about. Completely, completely. What about uh, looking to the future then? Uh, what are you looking forward to next year? I'm going to start off the resurgence, nay, the redemption of manager David Moyes. <laughs> I mean, he's taken so much flack for so many years. I still love him. I know he's got a couple of good seasons. He's purposefully too. being I so bad at the moment. That. Well, you, you, back, you're not guys. a West Ham fan, are you? I'm not a West Ham no. fan. I'm a Preston fan. Exactly. But he did very well with us. And I think he's still got it in. Give him another couple of years. If he doesn't get sacked, who knows? <laughs> Europa like League. Rachel said, we've got the World Cup. Everyone looking forward yeah. to that? I'm Absolutely. going with Rachel. I think watching the development of England players, young England players next year is going to be exciting. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the World Cup to see everybody else, in all honesty. <laughs> you know, it's nice to see the best players in the world and England. <laughs> anyway, guys, you've heard our favourite moments. We want to hear yours as well. So leave your answers in the comments below. And now it's time to have a look at the best stats from the year. It's the Pressure Index Review. Guys, our last game of the day is what else for the Studs Up Six Pointer Quiz. Me and James are going to take on you guys, how about that? Fine, yeah. let's go. Normal six pointer rules apply, but instead of five questions and a bonus, there are two questions and a bonus, which means for the first time ever, three questions, top score is six points. Yeah. Yeah. Actual Lost. six points. Unbelievable. All right, you guys want to go first? Yes. Who was at the top of the table at Christmas? 20 years ago, 97-98 season. Man United, right. mm -hmm. Aston Villa, and not Newcastle, Arsenal. Oh. So none of them are Newcastle. <laughs> right. 97, 98. Hang yes. on. So in that case, I am going to go with, well, between us, right? yeah, I yeah, think yeah. we should go for Arsenal. <laughs> because Dominating I think that was the year that Arsenal threw it away. They threw away a lead and United literally after Christmas won every game. I wanted to say Arsenal. I need your final answer, guys. We're going Arsenal. 
You're wrong. No. Oh. It was Manchester United. <sighs> Which song was Christmas number one in 1997? Is it Robbie Williams, Angels? Is it Spice Girls, Too Much? I know the one. Know that one, right? <laughs> or Slam Dunk the Funk, Put It Up. And I got yeah, by okay. five. Very popular song. I used to dress up as the blonde one, uh, Baby Spice, my Spice Girls parties. So... How a dark <laughs> insight into your childhood there, right? I would have been about nine then. Well, you nine should know ten. if you were Baby Spice. That's the kind of age that I, I used to have Spice Girls. Robbie Williams. So what are you going for, girls? Angels, Robbie Williams. Oh, that is... The Incorrect! <laughs> and it's Spice Girls. Spice Girls oh. too much. Who tweeted this? Christmas is underrated. Best day of the year by far, hashtag family. Who tweeted that? Wayne Rooney, Michael Owen, or Jermaine Defoe? I think Defoe is the kind of guy who'd be like Christmas happy. Rooney <laughs> keeps his cards close to his chest. Yeah, but I think he's got to keep Colleen happy, so I think he'd be <laughs> more liable to put that out in public. Maybe. And, o and Owen's just going to be off betting on horses or something, yeah. isn't he? So he's not really going to care. I, I still think Defoe. You want to go Defoe? Yeah. I want to go Rooney. Rock, paper, scissors it quickly. Right, so we'll go one, two, three and show something. One, two, three, pow. Oh. Okay, and again. One, two, three, pow. Oh. <laughs> one, two, three, pow. Oh, oh we're, we're going, going to make the five. Your game was in vain, guys. No, Michael Owen, guys. It was Michael Owen. He was tweeting about his family in 2014. In fairness, quality game of rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Who said, at Christmas, Nobody works in the world, and everyone watches the Premier League. I would cry if you changed that. Was it Claudio Ranieri, Arsene Wenger, or Alan Pardew? It wouldn't have been Ranieri. He loves his like family, and I think Christmas would be quite a nice time for him. I don't think it's Pardew. Nobody works in the world. I don't oh, it's a kind of Pardew thing. thing to say, though, isn't it? Ranieri, let's go with Ranieri. Leila, I'm not going to take... I don't know. All right, you ready? We go. Ranieri. It was Wenger! Oh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> the tiebreaker. I was just sure it, it wasn't an English first language thing. Oh. Question number three for you guys. Jay Who Jay. famously bought all of his players and staff a little bell in reference to one of his famous catchphrases? It's not multiple choice. Little bell. I think that was Claudio Ranieri. You think? I can see him in the press conference talking about it. He did do a lot of that. And he did stupid stuff and did that. I'm going, that I'm, I'm, I would go with this. I would go with. I would go with Ranieri. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> I did my best yeah. to wave him away. Yeah. There we go. Dilly dilly, dilly, dilly dong. <laughs> Who was the last player to score a hat trick on Boxing Day? Oh my gosh. Thierry Henry, Gareth Bale, or Luis Suarez? Suarez. Yeah, go for it. Look at them. You can see the panic in their face. Luis Suarez. Yeah, Luis Suarez, yeah? Yeah. Are you sticking with that? Yeah. Sticking with Luis Suarez, mate. I'm calling a bluff and I'm sticking with Luis Suarez. Oh, I'm so happy you did That's so shame, because it's down there! Oh, the boys! Oh, who was right. it? Finally, won something! I won something! <laughs> who Lovely was it? Stuff. We need to know who it was. Gareth Bale, 2012. Oh. Obviously, for Tottenham. It was going to be between him, Bale, and who was it? Terry Henry? Oh, yeah, I'm it was really between sorry. The three. God bless us, us everyone. Ah, oh, J Dog, <laughs> look at him. Oh, dejected in defeat. Champions. Marvellous. And whilst the girls recover from their defeat just then, why don't you lot check out the Southampton boys tackling a speed unwrapping challenge? What you've got to do in this challenge is unwrap that present as quickly as possible. The first person to unwrap the present gets to keep it. The person that loses, I'll take the present and keep it for myself. Simple, there are no rules. The first person to unwrap it keeps it. Right, guys, three, <laughs> two, one, unwrap. Please go, wait, please go. I need to put duct tape on mine. 
Present. There you go. Thank you no so problem. much. Thank you. Jack Stevens is the winner. Merry Christmas, both of you. Merry and Christmas. to everybody, add suds up. Merry Christmas, all. <laughs> Right, finally, guys, it's the end of the show. Let's get this centre bars thing now. Done. Sorry, mate, we've run out of time. Yeah, thank you for watching all of you at home and out and about. Are you we'll be back right in 2018. Until then, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. I can't believe you lot. You know what? Mans can't tell me nothing. Christmas time is popping. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun to say. <laughs>